Well, with the debate over the NSA's bulk collection of phone records hitting a critical point, one senator making this shocking claim. Malpractice is the best word that I can use to describe the amount of data that's actually being collected in the metadata program. The way it's being implemented today, I don't see how it's much useful at all to, uh, to the American people. I think you're going to see people on both sides of the aisle now pushing in a different direction, wondering why not more data is part of the database, if you will, that uh, is used to protect our citizens. Hmm. And despite the federal appeals court ruling that the NSA spying practice is illegal, Congress voted to reinstate the program yesterday. So where should Americans stand on this issue? Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano here with his take. It's a heated one on Senator Corker's comments. All right. So I think, uh, good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. And I appreciate discussing. It's a hot issue because the House of Representatives voted on it yesterday. They the did. Senate is going to begin voting on it on Monday. I should say debating it because Senator Rand Paul, Republican of Kentucky, and Senator Ron on Wyden, Democrat of Oregon, are going to filibuster this. Their argument is twofold. The Constitution simply does not authorize the government to capture all information about all the people all the time. Because why? The Fourth Amendment? Right. It doesn't, it doesn't, the government right now captures every email, every text message, every phone call, every, uh, every monthly statement from your bank, every credit card bill, uh, and it puts it all in its database. That's the constitutional argument. If the government wants something from you, it has to have evidence about you and present it to a judge. And if the judge agrees, he gives the search warrant, the government can pursue you. The practical argument is the government right now has collected 28 times the contents of the Library of Congress. According to former NSA officials, leaders of the NSA, that is far too much material for them to wade through. The reason why things like Major Hassan uh, at Fort Hood can slaughter um, uh, 13 people, the reason why the Boston uh, Marathon uh, killers were able to do that, the reason why the, the fanatics in Garland, Texas almost got through is because the NSA didn't see it because it's spending too much time sifting through too much information. Oh. If they did what the Constitution says, get evidence about bad people, focus on the bad people, not everybody else, they'd comply with the Fourth Amendment and they'd catch these things before they happen. Is that a dangerous statement by Senator Corker there? I think it is a dangerous statement by, by Senator uh, uh, Corker. I, I, I know that it right before he said that he had a briefing by nsa uh, folks a secret briefing so he wasn't allowed to tell us what they told him so we don't know what they told him but we do know that they are in favor of this so-called freedom act this so-called modification. i say so-called yeah, because so -called. it not only doesn't restrain them it unleashes them it gives them more uh spying authority than the patriot act which did. is interesting i mean because and you write that so well you said it actually le legitimize all the spying all the time on all of us in ways that the Patriot Act fails to do. Yes, itself. and the American people need to know that. It did not come out on the House debate. The House rules are different. There's only an hour on each side. The Senate debate, which will start next week, the senators can debate as long as they want and in as much detail as they want. Look, if the American people want the American government to spy on all Americans all the time, there should be a great national debate about it so we all know what we're getting into. That debate has not yet happened. Well, you're pulling the cover off of this one, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Thanks for being here. Pleasure to be with you. Now